This video is a revision on Spherical Triangle. In Spherical Triangle ABC, Angle A is 100 degree 8 minutes, Side B is 67 degree 54 minutes, and Side C is 84 degree 37 minutes. The question is Part A. Use the law of cosines to find the side of A. And then part B, use the law of sides to find angle C. Let's try to draw the triangle first. Here is a spherical triangle ABC where the where the side C opposite angle C is 84 degree 37 minutes. And the side B, opposite angle B, is 67 degree, 54 minutes. And the angle A is 100 degree, 8 minutes. We are going to find out what is the size of BC, which is A here. Notice that we are going to use the law of cosine to find A, the size of BC. Now, in spherical triangle, the law of cosine looks like this. Cosine A, which is BC here, is equal to cosine of B, which is here now, and cosine of C, which is side AB here, plus sine of B, which is here, and sine of C, and then cosine of angle A. Now, substituting B, the size of the side opposite angle B here is 67 by 67 degree 54 minutes. Substituting C, the size of AB opposite angle C is 84 degree 37 minutes plus sine B. Now B is 67 degree 54 minutes and sine C, C is 84 degree 37 minutes and cosine A. The angle A is 100 degree 8 minutes. Cosine 67 degree 54 minutes times cosine 84 degree 37 minutes plus sine of 67 degree 54 minutes times sine of 84 degree 37 minutes times cosine of 100 degree 8 minutes equal then you have cosine of the side A is equal to negative 0 0.12069976096969 then you do the inverse cosine shift cosine inverse answer equal is 97.29 which if you convert to degree a minute it is about 97 degree 18 minutes
for the second part, we are going to find the angle C. After we have known what is the size of BC, which is A, 97 degree 18 minutes. To find angle C, there are many ways to do that, but the question says that we use a law of size to find angle C. Notice that the law of size for square triangle is different from the law of size for in the normal triangle. In this case, we can use we can use size C, which is actually here now. Let me size C here. Size C over side angle C, which is here now. And side A over side angle A, which is here now, to find the angle C. So we rearrange them. So sine of C equal to sine side C here and times sine of A over sine of A. So let's use a color code to figure out all what it is supposed to be. So sine C is here. Okay, it's here. Alright, the sine A is actually this one. Okay, and then uh, sine A is here. So, put this into a calculator. We have, which is sine of 84.84 84 degree 37 minutes for side C and the side angle A is 100 degree 8 minutes and side of side A is 97 degree 18 minutes and you press the calculator okay let me find the calculator here okay calculator now so I'm going to put a fraction then sine of 84 degree okay, and 37 minutes okay close times sine of 100 degree 8 minutes divided by sine of 97 degree 18 minutes See why this equal to zero point nine eight eight zero six seven nine zero zero nine three zero six. Okay, zero point nine eight eight zero six seven nine three zero six. And from here, we can find what is angle C now. So angle C, use a calculator. We got the sine inverse now. So Shift sine inverse the answer. Okay, that will give me eighty one point one four convert into degree and minutes, which is equal to eighty one degree eight minutes. So this is how we find the angle C.
as we know that sine c is positive. So there is another possibility where the angle c is because the first quadrant angle is 81 degree 8 minutes. So there is another angle in the second quadrant is 180 degree minus 81 degree 8 minutes. We get the answer 98 degree 52 minutes. Now, you can check yourself that using the law of cosine, we find that cosine c is less than 0. Therefore, if cosine c is less than 0, we know c is actually more than 90 degree. So, we find out c should be 98 degree 52 minutes. And that is how we can confirm that the angle c is 92, 98 degree, 52 minutes.